You good? Yeah, just like when I write it, it's like that. Yeah, yeah, it's in, it's in head. your head, of course. Right. And we can do as many takes as we want. All right. I, I, I think that the first question, um, what has your yoga journey been like in the face of uh, being diagnosed with breast cancer? So I've actually been practicing yoga since the 70s. Um, I originally practiced with my grandmother. And um, so it's always been a part of my life, but particularly during breast cancer, it was a game changer. There's so many healers that came into my life, but yoga became so much more than just a physical practice. It really taught me about accepting what is, being present, you know, understanding that when you breathe, you can't breathe for the future, you can't breathe for the past, you can only breathe for right now. So it really helped me center and accept what was going on. It taught me that I can't change the future or what happened to me, but how can I accept what it is and find the blessings along the way? I think that the human spirit and body is so resilient and that to me is the best, you, you think that it's over, like you think, oh my god, chemo and my hair and I'm going to be ugly and, and there were, I, it's unbelievable how resilient I feel and I love my hair. Like, I had big brown, you didn't know me then, but I had big brown hair and I, this was like an unanticipated positive outcome. I love it. And um, when my kids told me I looked like a cool Brooklyn mom, I was like, all right, keep doing that. <laughs> ah.